Hello everyone. I am Sonali Nawale, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today's our topic is uh, blockchain platforms. In uh, black, uh, in black. Chain uh, platform. There are several types of uh, block uh, blockchain. First one is the public, then private, and consortium. Uh, first one is the uh, public blockchain. Public uh, blockchain. Uh, it names such as that public blockchain are open to the public and they are not owned by anyone. Uh, anyone can uh, participate as a node in the decision making process. Users may or may not be uh, rewarded uh, for their participation. Bit, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both public blockchains. Uh, it is a non-restrictive form of the ledger uh, in which each peer has a copy. Uh, this also means that anyone, uh, anyone with an internet connection can access the public uh, Bitcoin, sorry, blockchain. And uh, this user has access to historical and uh, contemporary records and the ability to perform mining operations. This uh, complex computation uh, must be performed to verify transactions and add them to the ledger. And uh, on the blockchain network, no valid re uh, record or transaction may be altered because the source code is usually open. Anybody can uh, check the transaction, uncover problem and suggest fixes. Then there are several uh, advantages. Uh, first one is the public uh, blockchain is trustable, then secure, and la next is the open and transparent. Trustable means public blockchain node do not need to know uh, or trust each other because the proof of work uh, procedure ensures no fraudulent transaction. Then next is the secure. Secure means a public network can have a many participants or nodes as it uh, wants, uh, making it a secure network. The higher, uh, higher the network size, the more record are uh, distributed and the more the, uh, difficult it is uh, for hackers to hack the entire network. And last one is the open and transparent. The data or, uh, on a public blockchain is transparent to all the nodes. Now, every authorized node has a copy of the blockchain uh, record or digital ledger. There are several uh, disadvantages of public blockchain. Uh, first one is the uh, ledger TPS, sorry, lower T uh, TPS. Uh, the number of transactions uh, per second in a public blockchain is uh, extremely low. This is because it is a large network with many nodes which make, uh, which take uh, time to verify transaction and do uh, proof of work. Then next is the scalability uh, issue. Uh, in public, uh, public blockchain, transactions are uh, proceed and completely slowly, completely uh, completed slowly. This harms uh, scalability. Uh, then next is the high energy consumption. The proof of work device is uh, expensive and uh, require a lot of energy. Technology will uh, undoubtedly uh, need to develop energy, uh, efficient uh, consequence method. Then uh, next, uh, uh, next platform is the uh, private blockchain. A blockchain network operates in a private context, such as a restricted network, or it is controlled by a single identity. While it has a similar peer-to-peer -peer connection and uh, decentralized to public blockchain network, this blockchain is uh, far smaller. And uh, they are often uh, run on a, a small network within a firm or organization, rather than open to anybody who want to uh, contribute processing power. And permission blockchain and uh, business blockchains are two more terms uh, for uh, for them. Then uh, next is the uh, there are several advantages. Uh, first uh, advantages is the first one is the speed and next is the scalability. And uh, disadvantages is that uh, first one is the trust building, then uh, lower security and uh, centralization. Then a uh, third uh, platform is that consortium blockchain. In that uh, 
uh, the same way that a hybrid blockchain has both private and public blockchain features. A consortium blockchain, uh, also known as a uh, federated blockchain, and uh, it uh, it differs because uh, it involves various organizational members working together on a decentralized network, and uh, predetermined nodes uh, control the consensus uh, method in a consortium blockchain. It has a validator node responsible for initiating. Rece uh, receiving and validating transaction. Transaction can be initiated or uh, received by uh, member nodes. Then uh, there are several uh, advantages uh, and disadvantages. For advantages is that uh, uh, advantages that secure uh, consortium uh, blockchain is a more secure, scalable, and efficient than a public blockchain network. It like private and uh, mixed blockchain has access controls. Then uh, there are uh, then uh, next is the disadvantages of consortium blockchain is the lack of transparency. Means the consortium blockchain has a lower degree of transparency. If a member uh, node is uh, infiltrated, uh, it can still be hacked, and the blockchain rule can be uh, render the network uh, inoperable. Thank you.